Okay, so I haven't made an update since August, so it's almost been like two and a half or three months since I made an update, so here's my update. Let's start with the CDs. First of all, I got, um, Eurythmics, Sweet Dreams are made of this. This is, uh, 2005. We released the Japac. I'm not gonna bother taking out the booklet now, but yeah. Then I got um the pretty reckless light me up. She does look like a skank. Whatever. Then I got um Ozzy Osbourne scream. I'm actually reading his autobiography now. Well, you did probably didn't even write a word in it. I got Iron Maiden's The Final Frontier. I'm hoping to go see them soon on their new tour. So that was the CDs. Then let's go to movies. I got. Thailand special edition of the Sex and the City 2, which comes in a package designed by Christian LaCroix, I guess how you say it. And it's two discs, but it's DVD. And this packaging is, I thought it was going to be a digipack, but it's just like a slipcover of exactly the same picture. The slipcover comes in this like shiny, like cardboard, but I don't know if you can see it, it's glittery. If you put in the light, you can see, well, it's like glittery and shiny. And then inside, it's just so intriguing. <gasps> wow. Mm -hmm, they really went all out on the design, really. Anyway, I got it because it's at limited edition, so I'm like, ooh. And I have number. Four hundred and fifty three out of fifteen hundred of these. Then I got these two movies when Resident Evil 4 came out. I'd never seen one. So I wanted to catch up. But the first one was like I could not find it anywhere. So I just got the second and the third. Yeah. I haven't watched them, so I can't review. I don't want to watch them until I watch the first one, even though I already watched the fourth one. Oh, whatever. And the next one is Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. I was on t in Thailand on holiday, and they released this in like a new a new edition. You know, it comes with like this. Now all Disney movies come with this, like spending what the disc is and shit. So. Yeah. It's actually one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. I used to be obsessed with this movie. And the songs. Then I got, um, on Motivar's Broken Embraces. Which, for some reason, for some reason, I'd never, it comes with a slipcase of exactly the same picture. Wow, how intriguing, right? For some reason, I'd, I, I had yet to see, because, like, when I was out in theaters, I didn't have time to watch it, so. Yeah, when I was out in theaters, I didn't have time to watch it. And then I'd always see it in, like, DVD stores, but could never bother to pick it up. Then I got All About My Mother, which I've always wanted to see. It's the movie, it's his, the movie by him that I've always wanted to see. And so I got around to it. Wow, the subcover is actually different this time. <coughs> and that's it for DVDs. Uh. Sorry for saying I'm dead, I'm just like, the reason I haven't made updates is because I've been really busy with school. So, sorry about that. Now let's get to the TV shows. First of all, I got Burn Notice Season 1. 
I got this for steel. I got this for like twelve dollars. So this one and two. It's actually pretty good. I really liked it. Ugh. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but it I did kinda hate it at first, like it was a little bit slow. And then the storyline was a bit slow as well, and it just kind of pissed me off a little because I had other shows I wanted to watch, but I never ever watch a show. I never ever like start another show when I start one. I have to finish it and then like go on to the next one. But I had a hard time finishing it. Then I got Desperado season five, which I'd been wanting to get for so long, so long. Because season 4 came out, what, like, three years ago, right? This season 7? Yeah, three years ago. And, um, this used to be my favorite show. I think it still is my favorite show. Well, no, it's not. But it's, like, the first show that I was really into. And, um, I just see it as a bad, gu bad guilty pleasure. Um, season 5 was horrible. But yeah, I hate the DVD. What the hell? Is, like... This for houses DVD used to be like the one of the best packaged DVDs with the with the um, nice slip cases like this. Let me give you an example. This is season four. And I just used to pick. I used to love this the the glass. The um See through plastic. I used to think it was amazing, one of the best packaged DVDs. Now, you just go into the normal slipcover. And then. It's still a digipack, so that's good. I like that. And then they put the slot for where the um, booklet would go, but they didn't even give you a booklet, they just put it on the side. And this came up. So this set is pretty big. It's like seven discs. It's a pretty good set and a pretty good show, but just a little disappointed. I still think season one is the best. And season four is the second best, and any other season is just okay. Then I got this for Housewife season six. Now this I got so pissed off. I ordered it from Amazon, so I didn't know. It's, I I just thought the set was gonna be a digipack, and then it arrives, and <sighs> I was so pissed. Like I said, already with season five, I was pissed off that it changed the packaging. Then they go and do this. Yeah. The discs look pretty cool. And the artwork, I think, is amazing. The discs, the discs look pretty cool. I like the blue and the... I love... Oh, wait. I'm not going to say it. Wait, spoiler alert. Okay. I love season six. Her lesbian storyline. Because at first I thought, like, oh wow, they're really, like, just trying to grab an audience. But then it felt pretty real and, like, like the show was actually trying. And I don't know where they moved them away. Anyway, you can watch again. Um, again, no booklet, which the first seasons came with really good booklets. Now it just, just comes with, like, $10 off on different ABCs, DVDs, and an ad for Blu-ray. I think season 6 was better than season 5, at least the mystery kept you hooked, season 5's mystery was horrible. But season 6 is just still not as good as season 4 was. Okay, the next set that I got. Californication season 2. I loved season 1 and I always wanted to get season 2, I just never got around to it. 
So I still haven't watched it because I was just watching this Resident Evil 6 and I just finished it what, yesterday. So Showtime always gives out crappy DVD sets and then but especially the CBS DVDs always have this shitty artwork with no special features at all. Oh, this one is interviews. Oh ho ho. I don't know where they put episodes of random, like, season three of the Tudors. I mean, why would I want to watch that? Why don't you put season one? Oh, uh, then I got you guys' favorite show as a set. Gossip Girl season three. Um, I got this again when I was in Thailand. Because, um, in America, the set looks like this. Like the Desperate Housewives one. Just, like thin case with the this but this is a digi so and it looks pretty too the booklet though but they're like behind the discs. There's episode synopsis and stuff. I'm using my laptop today because I can't be bothered getting my camera and recording the video after that. So, yeah, before you even ask in the comments, I did look for the for Desperate Housewives season three, season six as a did you pack in Thailand? But they don't have it. They have like. A big case with little thin cases. So I just decided we better to get the region one. So that's it. That's my update. See you later. Oh. By the way.